Hey guys, James with TFD TV here at Black Trident. I've got my buddy Wolfgang with me. We're gonna go over some new products that you guys have. What are you most excited about to show everyone? Talking about the new products that we have, we have some new products in the medical line, but also in when it comes to magazine pouches. Um, and I'd say we'd start with the magazine pouches. Yeah, yeah, sure, why right? not? Sure. Yeah. So, um, over here, we have a fully equipped Black Trident range belt. So all that you see here, this is something you can buy from us. And um, here on this side, we have the Omerta pouch series. So um, when we started looking at soft pouches, so um, we are very well known for the Kydex Mac carriers we make, and we, um, this is one of our best-selling product lines uh, in the Kydex area. But we know that there are a lot of shooters who have different magazines, they have um, probably multiple firearms, and the problem with Kydex is it's always fitted to a specific firearm uh, magazine. And there is also the thing that if you have multiple firearms, you can easily exchange it with um, the holster with the quick lock systems, but um, there is no way to actually adjust the Kydex mag carrier. You have to be lucky that the magazines have like nearly the same dimensions. So um, when we looked at uh, nylon pouches, and because this is something we wanted to do for a long time, not just for the belts, but also for everything that's chest rigs, plate carriers, and so on. Um, we realized that there's still a lot of potential that you can do in this area, although there is like a flood of products in the market already. Now, um, the Omerta pouches, they have a very um, distinctive look, and as you can see here, they are with elastic um, here on the side, and what really makes them special are the different reinforcements um, placed um, at different points on the magazine pouch. So um, the first thing is why are reinforcements important? Now, when you reholster, a lot of pouches that are soft on the top, they have the problem that you fuddle around and you actually can't get in. So when you don't look, and it's very hard to find actually the entrance. So here, you always have a hard edge on both the front side and the back side, and it's always easy to find it. Now, um, what is also interesting is that on the back side, there is a half spaced molly all the way up and down, so you can adjust it in height, and as you can see here, you can also adjust it in an angle. Now, this is something that some shooters uh, prefer over having them just straight up, and in comparison to our Kydex Mac carriers, they also save a little bit of space. We have reinforced polymer at the back, and by doing this, you actually have a really stable platform, and the Mac carriers, they don't move up and down, and the, um, the, like, the way how it can move is minimized. Many people, especially in the law enforcement community, they love it when they can secure the magazine with extra retention. And that is what we can see um, over here. Now, here we have our so-called safety tabs that you can mount to the magazines and um, you can actually um, add an additional mechanism to it so that it stays secure. Now, there's also the thing that many people, um, they want to store multi-tools or flashlights or whatever in these pouches. Uh, one of the most common questions we always get via email and so on is, hey, do you guys do a Kydex multi-tool carriers and so on? Um, it's really hard to actually get all the forms ready, all the molds made for the different multi-tools that are out there. So, and there are much better uh, solutions with nylon goods. Right now, these are available for standard pist uh, pistol mags. Um, you can load different mags in it. Like here, there is, is a variation with Glock mags, but it takes everything. Here, for instance, a SIG mag. Um, it takes everything that sure. is out there yeah. at the time, um, except the .45 calibers. Right. Now, um, as I talked about multi-tools and so on, because this is where I want to get, you can also adjust the retention, the Mac carrier or any other item you put in there has. And yeah, and this is the cool thing about the Emerita pouch series. There will be more pouches for this coming out for um, submachine guns and so on, um, flash grenades and more. So. We're still working on it. That is the most I have talked about magazine pouches just today than I have my entire life. So yeah. that, that was very good. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> you, you got us through it. And obviously, you guys yep. are very passionate about mm -hmm. this new project. Yep. How much do these cost? Um, at the time, they are at 44.90 euros mm -hmm. um, for the pistol magazine pouches and uh, 49 for the AR-15, okay. for the rifle mag carriers. Okay. Yeah. 
All yep. right. Well, let's, uh, yep. unless you have something else to add, let's move on. Yeah, I mean, no, we it's pretty just, much covered it. Yeah. You just, sure? Yeah. <laughs> what about 762 mags, AK mags? Is that going to be a thing? We're working on it. So with a K Max, you always have to work out like how the nose actually, so that it doesn't um, scratch up the material, but we're working on it. A K Max, <laughs> always a problem. So what do we have next, Wolfgang? Okay, so one other topic um, that you have to understand about the European market is that we're always a little bit like behind the US market when mm -hmm. it comes to every equipment change and so on. So right now, a lot of people are focusing on shooting. They're getting the equipment. So it's a lot about holsters, the pistol, mag the pistol magazine pouches. Um, but one topic that is coming more and more in Austria and all other European countries is first aid. So that comes to the, atten to the attention of the standard shooter that is mm -hmm. out there. We took many of the concepts that we had in this product and brought it to a new product that we call um, the Trauma Burrito. So Burrito, we'll talk about why is it called like that in a second. Um, I think I could probably guess. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. So, um, so first of all, there's always the two layer part. So there is like the inner part, which actually takes up all um, the medical products. I'll talk this in specific for a second. But um, one thing we had with the TFC kit was that it was very limited to the mounting options that you had. And we wanted to enhance this um, product even further. So now there are different mounts for the burrito. You can mount the inner part. This, for instance, is a dangler that you can wear for under a plate carrier or chest rig. Then there is also a molly mount that you can mount horizontally or vertically on any molly platform. Um, here, this is probably my favorite. Um, I always call it the Berlin mount. So people who are not like from Europe, so in Berlin, it's uh, very known that people were like... Um, oh, no, the, you're going to have to elaborate. Yeah. yeah, okay. So in Berlin, it's very common that people wear the Adidas bags like uh -huh. this. So uh -huh. this is the Berlin mount. So is yeah. Berlin like the San Francisco of Germany? Is that what you're trying That's to say? Probably it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, and like here, I sh just showed you the outer shells, like, and the fourth outer shell that we have here, this is the range belt mount. Um, and here is the inner part. Now, as you can see, it's very compact, and it's, like you said, you can already guess the name, it's rolled over. And I'll just take one that is already open from the back of here. So here you can see the inside of, a tra of our trauma burrito. Now, the first thing that you have if you roll it up is here this dust flap. So this actually protects all the products that are in there from dust or any other external factors. And if we start from the top, so it opens up with um, this red flag mm -hmm. here. If we start from the top, on the top we here have um, our own compartment where you can actually store, for instance, a patient's card. And here is also something that we call, also at the TFC kit, we call it the patient's lanyard, because this can actually help you, for instance, when the patient is transported to the next facility, to actually mm -hmm. give this with the patient um, and so that it arrives with it and you can see what was already used. Here, you can see that you can configure everything. Um, you have different setups, everyone has different medical products. You can configure them in different ways of how you would like to have them. It comes when you order it like this. So here is everything you need to actually um, build it out like this. And whatever you have on med products, you can put in here. Mm -hmm. Now, the really interesting thing, and that was a first for the TFC kit in the market was that you are able to store um, chest seals without bending them. Because often this is a problem um, with end users that there is no um, dedicated space for the chest seals and then they fold them over like really, really small. And the problem with chest seals is that they have a very, very sticky glue. It's like a gel-like mass on it. And the thing is, if you fold it, um, it becomes less effective when applying it to the body or to the wound. And here on the back, we have a full compartment that goes all the way down. And because it's a burrito, it's rolled. That is also why the concept is in here. Um, there are no bends. There is nothing that can actually um, hurt the chest seal or uh, like um, make it less effective when applying it. Yeah. How much does this cost? So um, when you're looking at the set, depending on the color, you're about 110 euros. Mm -hmm. What if I want to add guacamole? Uh, guacamole is no problem. Yep. What do we have next? 
we are very deep into like getting the best equipment that is out there to Austria. And um, there is kudos to your country. There are a lot of really good uh, makers of optic mounts, lights, and so on in the US. And since we are uh, like lovers of really great gear and great guns, um, we have like everything that's from Surefire lights, Unity tactical mounts, and all that um, at our store. And so um, we're also um, very big, uh, like talking about how is Europe evolving in terms of what is the hot thing right now. Um, as I said, many people in the past few years, 2014, they got their firearms. So, um, and then they started, okay, hey, there, I now have the firearm, now I need the equipment. So now I need holsters, I need everything in that area. And um, right now, the current trend is towards medical um, things. And I think the next thing this, that we will see will definitely be um, more into rifles. Because in Austria and other European countries, it's very important to say, um, shooting ranges are not like in the US where there are no caliber restrictions. So most of them where you can do dynamic shooting are uh, restricted to pistol calibers. And uh, shooting rifles, this is something where a lot of people are actually at the time starting building these ranges because there's more and more demand. So I think that we will see a lot more rifles in the future here. And if you want to build out rifles, you need good kit to actually fit it out and make the best of it. So the point is basically, and I know you guys, mm -hmm. you have your finger on the pulse of the American gun market. Yep. So if you <laughs> kind of want the cutting edge yep. of what's hot in the gun yep. world, then you can get American stuff or your stuff yep. from you guys, right? Yep. That is it. Yep. Wolfgang, thank you so much as usual for being James. on the program, thank you. giving me the whole run through. We're going to go grab a burrito, guys. Thanks a ton <laughs> for watching. Stay tuned, bringing you more from Black Trident.